Hello, everybody. I did not leave this. I just have been busy. Sorry I couldn't post. Um, but yeah. So today we're doing what it says there. Ooh. So let me get my praying mantis out. And let me open the document. And we can get started. So he's there. So let's start. Um, why they're great. I just wanted to start off with this. Um, they're super easy to keep. They have like a lot of, they don't have too many colors, but they have a lot of like sizes and like shapes on their bodies that make them really cool. Um, they're, you can handle them really good. Let me just show you. Yeah, who? Um, they're not, they're not aggressive to you, which a lot of people think, which I think is crazy because they don't do much. Um, they can reproduce, but this one here, he's a ghost mantis, so they don't really re reproduce much. Um, okay. Yeah. But the only bad thing about these guys, other than everything I just listed, is just that they need live food, which I think is gross. Um, but whatever. So, habitat. No, wait, don't run away. Okay. Let me do this. So, habitat. You can see here I got this fish book from my library at school. But, that's a 30 ounce cup. That's where my, the wingless fruit flies are in right now. And I think that colony might die soon because those mashed potatoes are going away quickly. But this is the habitat I have for him, which is really easy to make. I don't have to watch a video. I just found a plastic container. I took the top off because I couldn't cut holes through it. I just put cardboard and I got the holes through it. But a lot of holes for a lot of breathing. Also, bugs don't need much airflow. So I think that's pretty obvious. And make sure there's no harmful stuff in here before or and that doesn't come out or else you can't use it. So yeah, let's go. Food. The food needs to be live. Sometimes they will accept honey, but it cannot be part of their main diet. So sorry. Um, yeah, that's really only downside about them. Pose for the camera. Okay. So let's go. Decor. So as you can see here, I have some dirt stuff. It's not eco earth. I would recommend that. I got some other stuff that's like the same exact thing. Well, it's mo you might want something that holds moisture. I think this is the only thing that you really have to buy at your pet store is the dirt. But, can't use real dirt, sorry. Um, you can get sticks from your backyard. And then there's like a fake plant in here. I put that in a couple days ago. Because um, it was for one of my fish tanks but I never used it. Yeah. Um... So that's pretty much it on the basics. So if your mantis is like a humid one, like this, humid climate, then you're gonna need a spray bottle. Mine was three dollars. Um, the oh, he just jumped. Well, I'll just have the camera facing on him while I talk. Um. There's desert type mantids too that no, don't need spray bottles. You can use live plants, um, but I think they'll just die to be honest. Oh, also don't, I don't know if you can or not, but I'm not sure if you can put it your cage against the window or not. Probably not. Um, uh, see some facts about they live for about a year they are carnivorous insects so they don't eat plants sometimes they will, they will eat honey though but not everyone will um, they can jump pretty far when they mature because they will grow wings um, 
they will grow instead of wings, yeah. Their age is set in like stages. So L1, I think they call it L for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but L1 is like newly hatched. And then L6 is fully mature. And then to go up a stage, let's say from L1 to L2, they shed. And he did that once. Um, not sure when he's gonna do it again. Uh, oh, when they shed, they grow bigger too, so kind of like snakes. They have really good eyesight. They can see up to 60 feet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 60 feet. It says here. They have hooks on the bottom of your feet. Let me, like, see those. Look. This camera doesn't focus, but they have, like, little, little parts on the bottom of your feet and that's why they can go upside down um they they do have antennas but they're extremely hard to see you won't be able to see on my phone but um they move really fast and yeah um oh this is why they're called the playing crane uh, praying mantis look let him come up here see how he's always in like that praying position when he's not walking that's he's always in that position to strike or climb, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, mantid is plural for mantis. You don't say mantises. Oh, my finger's pretty gross. You say mantids. And I don't feel like they're fast. <laughs> That one's not really relevant, but this one I hear about a lot. They are legal, and they will not kill you in your sleep, okay? People, just if you're wondering. Yeah. So now we're just gonna do like a little, oh wow, beautiful. Do, do, do. And this one's a ghost mantis. He's L2. Maybe he shed it already, and I didn't see it. He probably didn't though. He should do it soon if he hasn't. Yeah. Um, he's a ghost mantis, so he needs humid. But that is it. I hope you like this video. Sorry for leaving, and sorry that's so long, but I gave you most of the facts and everything, so it was worth it. Goodbye. Yeah.